No Lincoln School. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. Oh my God. This has got to be, this has got to be weird. Neil Kraft. I don't even know Veronica Kraft. Neil Kraft. Neil Kraft. Mandy Hentoff. Hello. How are you? You do not. Bob Giard, oh, Bob Giard recognized me in an IGA in East Hampton. He's a troublemaker. Really? <laughs> and mine's very, it's very dark. Mine's very dark. My yearbook photo, the whole thing's really dark. I just remember so you were attached to Alex Fire. Well, I was going out with her. But you were physically attached to her. You two would talk like I'm going to wear this. People, but we didn't have air conditioning growing up, right? No, we there was didn't no have it at home either. Yes, we did. We were the first people. We had air <laughs> My uncle was an air conditioning repairman. Thank you. I'm in the ad business. Did you get that? Oh, safe? Hi, Celia. How are you? Was, oh, geez. Oh, God. This was the gym. And we played, this is where we, they played Slocum and Dodgeball and we would get injured. Is there still a pool downstairs or no? Come on. Really weird. And I'm trying not to look at people's name tags because they can tell that I like, recognize them, but I don't. And then I think they're insulted when I don't um, rem like, remember them from their face. <laughs> and I remember being sent to the principal a lot, and the principal was down the other way. And you would have to sit on a bench and wait to see the principal. I did run into one teacher who said she remembered me as a troublemaker, so. Who are you, talk off. Can I? You sold your soul to the devil. What's up? You better than that. How are you? I see you so completely. You're one of the few people I could recognize. Really? Yes. You could see him. He's good man. He's like the devil. But he looked 10 years ago when we went to the... No, no, I know. He's totally like... I mean, because you look the same, but... No, well, you shave. You shave. No, no, trust me, I wouldn't. Dude, I need okay, to talk to you about dodgeball. Hold on, I, I have a whole thing I need to talk to you about dodgeball. And who was trying to hurt us and why? No, dodgeball I got, Right, I was no, like, seriously hurt. Like, and it was just murder. It was just murder. Well, we so. so. Your football was the only organized sport I ever played. And that was just organized. Actually, I played one day. As I recall, I played one game. And then gave up. And then we were like outside and like the mud and the snow. But yeah, I remember that was my first experience with frost puppets. Like seriously, my head. I was like, what the fuck? And I could because I couldn't throw or catch a ball or do anything. I was something that right. But the fact that I can't read, write, or smell. No, no social skills. Literally, I have no filter. I got to rest. How are you? Okay. Like me. I he used to really She was my like girlfriend. She used to like me. I didn't say what made you think I didn't like you. I just don't like, I don't like people. I don't like people. That's great. Okay. Can we, are we seriously in lockdown or are we not allowed to leave? I don't think we can leave. Did they stop you from leaving? Can we leave? Are we allowed out? Can we leave? Do you think? Or not? Are we in lockdown? What'd you got? Syracuse University. Love it's not you. about money. I know. She said, what do you do? I said, I have an ad agency. And they, she gave me that look like I was stuck. It's not New Lincoln. Yeah, like what the fuck? Well, well there's urban and there's urban. I mean, I grew up on the uh, Upper yeah. East and West Side. I wasn't that urban. Well, we Just were, coming we're to school was the only urban. Of, no, I don't mean urban Running like, from like, there to there so your bus passes. Uh, so that. Which it did anyway, if I recall. Yeah, many times. Well, he wasn't as hilarious as I had hoped. Who was his first girlfriend? I don't know. You have to ask Steve. Oh, jeez. There's not going to be diverse. That's diverse. So you were my first. That is true. You were my first girlfriend. And you were my first lover. Yeah, I don't think I was. <laughs> no, he's like Michael Jody, wasn't he? No. 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 no? Uh, player to be named later. Off yeah. camera. It's Michael Jody. I'm but, telling you. I think you should tell everybody about the time that your mother came in while we were doing it. I don't remember. You tell well, me. Well, I think you repressed it. I may have. When? What? What happened? What happened? Well, I don't know if I was on top of you or you were on oh, top geez. of me, but um, or maybe you know at opposite ends of the bed. But wait, Neil hold on. First of all, where were? Small room. room. No, no, it was a prison well, uh, cell. As well, I recall, it was, it was a, a prison room cell. Because you're in the dark. And room. my mother would be like slamming the dish because she didn't want the dishwasher to run too long. So, so she would come and take the dishes out of the. Long story short, one day after school, I we totally were doing it, 
and after school your mother walked in you know with like gonna put laundry in your bedroom or whatever and she screamed the scream of the Jewish mother who just realizes that her son is sexually active but there's a bunch in of her house and she's just seen it but first of all, and you were my, no going back. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> you were the you were my first and only Jewish and girlfriend. That. And so you well, were always their favorite. What do you favorite. call Linda? Linda Laura. She was Italian. Well, no, so you were my first and only Jewish girlfriend. Well, and you so didn't marry a Jewish my, girl. Yes, but let me just say this. It's Shiksa My madness. mother always. You were always I love my mother's your mother. favorite. She's dead. I even like your father, and yeah, he's a fucking both freak. Dead. They're both dead. You remember my father being a freak, so yes. I'm not remembering this. Oh thing. no, your father was 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 harsh. So what part was he was the very harsh? Like harsh, like right? Not like not a scared? good, yeah. Not a good person. Not a good. I mean, and if you're scarred, you deserve. I mean, it's it makes sense. I'm really. Can we just talk without the cameras? No. This is so no. constipated. No, no, well, you're you constipated. That? I'm not the least bit constipated by. Oh, and you're you feel liberated. That's yeah. your. Yeah, it's much easier for me. Yeah. I was hoping um, some of the kids who really beat me up would come, but like Nelson why? Guzman. Because I thought that would be funny. Nelson to confront beat you up? Sure, well, in dodgeball and stuff. Oh, you know, yeah. Not, yeah. No, but they weren't trying to, oh, God. Yeah, they were. Burn. Is that? Yeah, they were. They totally were. They were trying to hurt you? Yeah. I mean, they, they were totally trying to hurt me. No, nobody ever beat me up. Nobody ever beat me up. But people did, like, really, really hurt me in dodgeball. Neil Craft, do you remember me even remotely? How can I not? Sit down. Wait, what do you mean, how can you not? What do you mean, how can you not? You don't think I can remember Neil Kraft? I don't, I, I, I don't remember I anything. Do. You don't, why? I don't know. <laughs> well, there's a doing? bunch of... <laughs> Nothing. Like I was saying, you could have an apartment like this when we were growing up and not have a cent. New Lincoln, this way. New Lincoln. 10A. 10A Ginsburg. Hello. Ginsburg. Hello. I'm not a reporter. I'm not a reporter. I'm a hustler. Are they doing a reality show about you? Is that why you're like following me by camera? I just, I just I, you know, my life is it's actually a horror movie. Well, do you remember my mother being like a witch? Not a witch, but I remember that she used. She was a witch. She was. She, was, she, was, she liked to. Like, Loading the dishwasher in the middle of the fucking night. And nobody believes me when I tell the story, but the worst part of it was, but here's the worst part of it. She would open the dish, she couldn't stand that the electricity for the drying part. So she would go into the, she would load the dishwasher in the middle of the night, and then she would go into the, and turn it off, like, so that you didn't dry them. So they would dry by air, so you save the 10 cents. Do you also not remember my apartment being incredibly dark and walking around getting black and blue marks and my mother was always turning the lights off because she didn't want to pay the electrical bill? I have your portfolio. You do not. I swear to God. Where, why did, where'd you, what? The thing, I've told several people today that like I'm in advertising and they're all like, oh, it's like being an artist is much more new Lincoln. I want to talk to you guys. Can we stop this now? No. I'm interested I want to talk in, to you about Vermont. What about Vermont? Who, You're in Vermont? Hold on a second. How do you get this kind of information? No. He's gonna move. I am not. Hold on. <laughs> Alex, who told you that I was moving to Vermont? All right. Well, let's... I'll just keep them to myself. I don't know. He, he's very shy. He doesn't want. He doesn't want. He wants to keep a low profile. I'm socially awkward. Which is part of the reason for the camera. But who's not? I love you. What? <laughs> no, I'm extremely socially awkward. I couldn't have come to this thing and talked to anybody without being forced to do it. Yeah, you know, because you're so good one to one. This isn't true. You this have true. a really good one to one. But look at who you're talking to. Right. Exactly. No, I know, but I don't know. I couldn't. You couldn't do it with everybody. I would leave in 20 minutes. My kids didn't get any Jewish education. Well, that was your choice. It was. Are you sad or glad? No. Um, the part that I think they miss and that I miss is the um, the social side of it. The cultural piece. The cultural bit. Yeah. But believe me, they get That's that around my house. I... Me and Dave. What? I swear she's like a stalker. And I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. But where's the bathroom? The Jewish piece. Yeah. That my kids did get wasn't. Right. Did you go to Sunday school? Did you? That's one of the scary things. Is I went. School, yes, I went to Temple. All that crap. I went
I went to Temple Emmanuel for eight years. Okay. I don't remember so a thing. Mike, no, but that's the the, the self hating Jews are the worst kind. I hate yeah, well, I'm that? sort of part. I, I think I'm at least half. Yeah. Self loathing. I don't too. know. Did you know my parents changed the name from Cooperberg? Cooperberg. Because that's they had the they had the well they had the um, towels monogram. <laughs> With the K. <laughs> so the, my mother was too cheap to throw the K oh, towels no, out. This is not true. This is, I swear no, to God, 100% true. You know it's what? 100% too bad true. we can't ask her about that because... Dad, thank God, but... Um, is he making it up? No. 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 That's bad. I'm telling you. You can't make up well, stuff like you know, that. It's stuff like that's too good. You can't make it up. The towels were monogrammed. Were monogrammed. <laughs> so it had to be a K. Didn't have to be craft, but it had to be a K. Do you remember like embarrassing stuff about me? That you want me to repeat? Um, yeah. Oh God, the more embarrassing, the better. That's not true. Oh yeah. I only know you as like the right. popular. Right. Right. Seriously, there's no fucking way. That part, I don't, I'm not even sure I remotely believe that. No, I don't, I don't remember my mother walking in us, and I don't remember that. Oh, honey. What road trip? road trip? We took a road trip. We drove. You drove, and I, I drove. Taxi drove. From where to where? From See, I don't have a even remote recollection. I mean, I'm sorry. Does it seem weird that I don't? No, it's, not okay, at all. Right. Jeez. Yeah, something like that. And we did what? We drove. We drove far. We went up to alone. Yeah, we were how old? Just us. 18? Oh, that's not. Okay. That's, 17, 18? Okay, so that's. That was How did we get away with this stuff? My daughter couldn't get away with it. that stuff now. Major outdoors. That's the part I don't understand. Because somehow when I'm 21 or 22, it went out of my mind. Like I've never you done did, an outdoor you thing. Did. And we hiked and did but stuff. What happened? And you always knew what to do. I counted on you. I had no clue. But how? Uh, where? How and did I, I forget? And I cried when we were hiking too far. It's like, oh, I don't want to go anymore. Yeah, that's probably. That's but again, I don't believe it because I really don't have any memory of that whatsoever. Herself and working, that's my memory. She's really fidgety. Right. Like really fidgety. I think I picked up all that. More stuff. fidgety. Really? Yeah. More. More. I, I'm medicated too, so I don't know how much of it. <laughs> like my mom and you know, I mean, ten, two, three tumblers of vodka every night. Yeah, yeah. I mean, tumblers. That was just to get the things in the dishwasher. Yeah. I know. My dad, Jason was saying you know, my dad was crazy. My dad was cr like kind of mean. I, your dad scared me. Right. He's it wouldn't have occurred to me back then to take a picture of my dad in a Mustang because it's so funny. Like, but it wouldn't only have occurred to me now. The pictures you were taking then were, were like dark. details right, they of were dark. the rocks right. on the shore. Like, why wasn't I taking pictures of my dad driving stewardess around with Mustang? Which, right. That would have been really Like, that was something I could have kept really the rest of my life. <laughs> um, uh, it's okay. You too. Uh, no, not, you know, you, you all here look in the mirror, it's not so good. Well, I was Victor. hoping to catch up with them, but we'll find out. Abby, this, uh, Abby, what? Your apartment was the first one I think I could sleep over with a girl in. Is that a misremember memory? I don't know. Did we? Was I allowed to sleep over? Yeah. So yeah, it was definitely the first one. Of course I did. I don't remember anything. We, we dated, dated. Then, right? We were an item. We right. were together. You didn't date. There was no way to date. You'd never email me back. And I'm like, come on, Neil. No, but here's the thing, and I will say this I don't in think the most warm, either. loving way. Okay. You be good. Think about it. I don't know that... I, I, my life is my family and my kids, and I don't really have a social life outside of 10 people, 12 people. And I don't... I'm not comfortable with social... That's okay. No, but what am I going to say back? You know what I mean? I mean... Just answer. <laughs> and say what? That's why I feel shunned when you don't talk back, when you don't say anything back. I just thought, why is an ex-girlfriend emailing me in her mid-40s? I said it was a... a you said you had a love child of mine, which already I didn't find so funny. And then Six I, emails prior to that. Yeah, but I, I didn't get and it. And Science and Society, name? Irma Darko. Oh, she was good. Like I ended up, Tony and I ended up both sending our kids to the same school that is New Lincoln reincarnated. What? And I actually tried to put my kids in regular public school because I thought, I didn't learn shit, let me put them in like a real, and we I ended up in this another school that yeah. didn't teach them shit. Tell the story. I want you to tell the story. <laughs> tell the story. I did graduation in jeans and nobody else did. I would do anything to make my parents angry. 
Am I talking to them or am I talking to you? Just for the high school graduation, you were the only one who came in jeans. But, and you were complete, because we were all, this was a big dress up day, we were all. But it was New Lincoln. No, Why would no, you go no. to the You were the only one who came in jeans. This but I don't, do you think I did that on purpose as like a. You did that on purpose, you absolutely did it. One of the things I tried to figure out for, you know, 20 years of therapy is what I was so angry about. Like, See, I don't remember you as angry. I remember you, Led Zeppelin, and I remember. Um, well, Led Zeppelin's angry. I mean, the reason why people listen to boys, I have two boys, listen to metal music of any kind, and Led Zeppelin was just an early metal man. Um, angry. Yeah. Uh, angry, angry. I think you were just different. You were. I think, but I, I think I was trying, this is how I read it, trying desperately to be cool. Like trying desperately. Because I was, this is, again, my memory of the hundreds. I was incredibly unpopular till like eighth grade. And this is my memory of it. Okay. Because I couldn't do sports. I was terrible at, it wasn't like. We had no sports. Nobody well, did sports. I, camp. Okay, there's a lot of horror at camp. Like horror at camp. And there's sort of nothing that you can't, when you're in eighth grade, you can't be cool, right? Okay. So that at some point or another, I just somehow became cool. The black kids all want to listen to BLS, not notice none of them are here. And the white kids all want to listen to NEW, and it was a constant day in, day out fight. Yeah, and you could smoke and shit. You could smoke in the lounge, and we gambled. There was a whole period of, of intense gambling. I remember the gambling. Blackjack, and, and, yeah. and we would all sit around in, in this one huge table. Plus, I remember rum and coke. Like, we were doing stuff that I hope my kids that never do. Uh, Jason will remember drinking, but um, <laughs> Jason would, would bring in, oh, I gotta check, I gotta now I remember this whole story about Jason and the um, uh, Retsina. No. There was like a Greek wine which he would bring in and it was horrible. And Smoking cigarettes? Bright. I didn't smoke cigarettes. Um, are you sure? Positive. Are you sure? I dipped them in opium. I got in trouble and got sent to a therapist for um, uh, selling opium, but I never smoked. Not with. And when I was, there were some of them, Alex, Abby, and <laughs> Linda. Linda. And they're all here. I'm, I don't think there was anyone who. I don't think anybody I went out with isn't, and then I think that those are the three. That was 20 years of therapy, did you find anything? No. Are your parents alive? Dead, thank God. I had a brother who ran out, when my mom died, ran off with the money. I haven't spoken to him. Okay. And then I had a, um, a sister, younger sister, who lives in Brooklyn, and I still speak to. You, you speak to? Yes. Okay. But not my brother. Okay. It's a very dysfunctional no, no, thing. No, no, I understand. I'm hoping not to have the same thing no, happen to my family. I'm really hoping. Linda and, and Nina and Alex, and you and Michael, and... What are your cues, of where are you going with this? That no, we were I'm, loose, no. or I, is it promiscuous? It was the 60s and 70s. It was a... Uh, it didn't go back and forth. My recollection is, is I went out with each of those for a period of time, that we didn't like switch off. I don't know. I don't Alex think there was Michael any of went that. went back and forth for, for a while. You were there. Oh, but no, I was no, in I, there. That's, a whole, that's was, already was, bad. That's already bad. Abby? Abby has been kind of stalking me in a way. On the inter and I'm sort of, she goes, why don't you ever answer my emails? Because I don't want, you know what I mean? i got a wife and kids and there's something. I don't know. I, I think the general impression, and I say this with all due respect, but yeah. the general impression is that you've been standoffish and, and distant and unapproachable. In, in the whole emailing thing, I don't know. Not to say that we but have she's to all be spreading that. About this. No, no, but first no, no, of all, okay, no, you're, you're, no, no, let's no, start no, with no, the. I've heard this from more than one person. Okay, let's start with I this. I tell you this and all. Okay, let me t start with this. <laughs> you're married. You got three kids. Suddenly, you're emailing your ex-girlfriend. Oh, I wouldn't look at it as an ex-girlfriend. But I that's wouldn't. what I'm saying. There's oh. something weird. I mean, if I was my wife, I, would, I mean, not that she would ever read my emails, but there's, there's gonna. That's, that's cut. <laughs> She hasn't changed. So the, pardon me. It just, there's only, I mean, th this is great. And do this once every 20 years is great. But I don't want to like, you know. You don't want to know about us for the next five years. It's okay. Nothing, not that much it's is going to okay. happen. You know what I mean? I mean, you got like my life it's and okay. kids and I'm trying to get it's kids okay. going to college. I mean, you get like stuff going on. There's all kinds of stuff that comes up when you Google me. You must not have spelled it wrong. There's like YouTube I videos. Got, there's I all got this stuff. No, the only thing I got was Kraftworks. That's, yeah, but it's not. There's That's a guy in Baltimore you. who's got like American flag, an American flag business. 
But Craftworks is my company. No, but it's I, heard about, NYC. I, I heard about advertising. And I yeah, but there's an advertising company in Baltimore okay. that I think is actually the first thing that comes up. But if you just Google me, there's all kinds of horror okay. stuff. Okay, because the only, thing I, the only other thing that I yeah. advertising, I just, I just started to laugh because I remember... Well, that's also... I, remember I get that, too. Jeans. I remember jeans. But I still wear jeans. Being disregarding of, 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 of authority, of right? Authority and, and cool being not cool. I mean... Well, they wouldn't have been my top five. Imagine my profession in high school I would, would never, be advertising. Ever, ever have thought that, that, that well, it was sort of. I thought of myself as being in the fashion business for a long time, which also probably wouldn't have been on the list. But right. it was certainly something that I did. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I, I got it. <laughs> it's so not. It's so not. And you're like saving the world. You're like a rocket scientist. Um, I'm... <laughs> yeah, you, yes? Yes, he is. I'm trying to save the world, but I take care of children. But I, what I remember is that you taught me a deep and abiding love of Frank Zappa. He looks like Billy Joel, but he's not. Here's the thing. He often eats dinner near me at a restaurant, and he doesn't look anything like me, but I get that. And particularly black people do that on the street. The other day, a homeless person was literally under a blanket, totally homeless, like I was avoiding him on the street. He throws the blanket up and goes, you look like Billy Joel, and throws the blanket down. And I was like, mother, I didn't even think the guy was alive. But I was also into jazz, and I think I was into jazz because everybody else was into rock. Like, I think I was, there's one of the things like, to be Miles Davis. Yeah, like Miles Davis and stuff. But then I named my kids Dylan, Marley, and Morrison. And like have sort of, I almost immediately in college, I realized I don't like jazz that much. You went to RISD. Yeah. yeah. At some point in college, I realized I'm trying too hard. Like I'm, maybe it was after college. See, but that was all pretense. I'm telling you, it was all, the Zappa thing I genuinely liked, but the rest was just like bullshit pretense, me trying to be cool. No. Well, then it sort of all left me. Weirdly, when I went to college, I was so not cool. Like, it took me years, like, like, sorry, I mean this in the most loving way. It was not that hard to get a, have a girlfriend in high school. It was pretty hard in college. So I suddenly became not that cool. So, do you have any idea? You know, I've heard most of the names over the years. See, but you never heard me because I was completely forgettable. But Henry Hirsch also... He became Lenny Kravitz's producer and sort of has lived off producing a couple of Lenny Kravitz's records his whole life, but he didn't, another person I hope would explode, didn't. Keep in touch. And now it's, How do I do that? Eh, you know. I'm listed. Children, I have three teenage kids, 18, 16, 15, the same wife for 30 years, and, um, you know, happy family. This is a nice accomplishment. Yes, well, you know. What are the kids into? Uh, music and art, which will come back to haunt them later, I'm thinking. But <laughs> for the moment, it's good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's great. So, it's good. Mostly deal heroin. But when that's not going well. So that hasn't changed. That hasn't changed. It was opiate. Well, if, first of all, at a modern been. high school, could, you'd currently be kicked out for dealing opium. But then, oops, they just but sent me to a therapist. Then, and then my parents would send me my grades to the therapist. My therapist would, what do they want me to do with the grades? So it was weird. We I didn't die. Opium. I didn't die. And, but, you know, also wandered around on the street in an acid barefoot. Okay, so you needed somebody to grab. I just did. I mean, I, the weird guidance. thing about, the weird thing, because I know lots of lifelong addicts, the weird thing is I was always able to pull myself back. Well, that's what, and that's what I'm... New York City was scary, but drugs and sex and alcohol wasn't scary. Right. You know, so that's what's weird. It's true. And there's no drinking and driving, because we didn't drive. Like, that, the thing that scares me about my kids, the drinking and driving thing. Walk through Central Park and smoke pot. I know. It wasn't safe. 
No, but Alex <laughs> scared me. Like, seriously, terrified. <laughs> I, I didn't even know what to do. Seriously, it's like she was like almost rubbing up against And then that's when I sort of started. It's like, it's like 30 years later. It happened a long time ago that way, too. Really terrifying. It's good to see you. Also took cut school one day, you and I and, and Dinah. And went skating. Yeah. But we, I remember cutting school more than one day. Oh, no, more than one day, but I remember it. I also remember buying a pound of pot in Washington Square Park that turned out to be oregano. Like, and then I, I sort of sold it off, but it was clearly not pot. If there was any pot in it, it was not good. So. Okay, I'm going. It's good to see you. All over? Well, we're at, well, no, we have a laptop actually full of food. No, we have a laptop. We're actually done with our food. We're out of food. Did you take pictures of all the pictures and the pictures of you, the little The pictures? one over there we should get, actually. Let me just get that one. You don't remember me. So we're gonna, it's going to be on YouTube tonight? Tonight. Because the YouTube, the kids are all into it, and they love it, and the YouTube. There's a, just a picture of me over here. I swear to God. A dicky. I'm wearing a dicky. Right there, a dicky. You know, because well, we how about the fact that I had a cook? I mean, and we were Come middle on, we class at that. My parents both died almost penniless. Oh, I don't like it. It's great to see you. It really was. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You'll be good. Answer okay. me when I call you. Uh, okay. Please. Well, if you email me, I'm gonna call these guys. Okay, but well, it's YouTube. It's on the YouTube. Was, was that as weird as I think that was? Yeah, I think it's gonna look pretty, pretty, pretty weird on tape. In an uncomfortable, funny way, or in a good, funny way? I don't know. You have to see. I think you could definitely cut together some of the ex-girlfriends being pretty wacky. They were all wacky. Yeah. And there was all something going on. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely a little bit of. 